Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Friday, that means dorking with dice is upon us. And eagle-eyed viewers will notice there is the usual pink D20 that we always use for the show. There's also a white D12. What is happening with that? Well, the business we have to take care of before we start dorking with dice is to give away this all-Madden action-packed set that I built on the channel yesterday. I just opened a hobby box of that, and uh, it is a complete set. I thought there were 55 cards, but there are actually just 52, as several of you informed me in the comments. It's a complicated and, and kind of confusing thing, because the all Madden sets that Action Pact did in the 90s all have different numbers of cards in them. Some are like in the 50s, there's one, this one is 52, there's another that's 55. There's some in the 40s, there's one that's 45. I started looking at that and it's no wonder that I got confused about how many cards were in the set, but we do have one full and complete set of all 52 cards. And uh, those of you who have commented on that video and said specifically that you would like to win that set, I have those names on this list, and there just happens to be 12 of them. There are over 40 comments on the, the video at this point, but a lot of people graciously kind of stepped aside and said, I, you know, I'm going to bow out and not uh, put my name in the hat for that, or, you know, whatever they chose. So, uh, very generous that people kind of stepped aside and let others compete for this. So, these are the uh, 12 people who uh, have a shot at this set, and I will mail it to whomever is the winner. We're going to roll and see who gets it right now. All right, it is number 10, and that is James Barnes. All right, James, you are the winner, sir. I am happy to send that off to you. I believe I have your address, so uh, you don't need to do anything. I will put that to the side. I'll put that list to the side, and we do not need the D12 anymore, so I'll put that to the side as well, and then we can get to dorking with dice. Thank all of you who participated in the contest yesterday. I appreciate it. That was something that I've been wanting to do on the channel for a while, is open a box and see if I could make a set as I open the box and then give away the set. I've never ever seen anybody do that on their channel, and so it was something I kind of thought of a, a while ago and thought, i, I got to figure out a way to do that. And so, of course, it has to be a smallish set, and I knew the action pack sets, you know, are you know, all less than, you know, 60 cards or so, and so I thought that one would be doable, and I had a box of that, and so I decided that that was what we were going to do, and it, it seemed to work out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly had fun with it, and it's uh, maybe something that I'll try again. If you guys uh, enjoyed that, I'll try that again, maybe do another, a different action-packed set, or maybe I'll uh, come up with something else. If you know of a, a good, sort of smallish set that would work for uh, doing something like that, please suggest it in the comments. I would certainly appreciate it. If you've never dorked with dice before, put on your gear and uh, gird your loins because uh, we're about to do it. We roll this big pink d20 and then that corresponds, whatever number we roll, corresponds to the 20 vintage hockey and football packs in this very box right here. And uh, that's that's what we get to open. We usually roll it at least a few times. My son is usually here to help, but he's at Grandma and Papa's today, so it is just CW and my usual nonsense that you get to put up with working with dice. And the 110 and 20 spots, we have some very special backs. They're the same ones that we had last week, because we did not roll a 110 or a 20, and they're pretty good ones. 1988 Football pack is in the number one spot. Bo Jackson, rookie possibility out of there, as well as lots of Hall of Famers. In the number 10 spot, we've got this. I believe this is a 1986, 85? I think it's an 86. Yeah, it is an 86. And there are plenty of good rookies in there. I almost lost my place here. I'm getting distracted. Here we go. That is, uh, that's what we're looking for. The big rookie in 1986, of course, is Jerry Rice, and that is what makes these packs so expensive. Uh, this is, uh, we opened an 84 pack on the channel a couple of weeks ago that was in the number 10 spot, and 84 packs, they're, they're like, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks, and these are even more. These usually are about 70, 80, so I've even seen these go for 100 bucks because that Jerry Rice rookie is a tough, tough pull. The uh, sets were very big back in those days, like 700 cards or more in some cases, and so getting a specific card out of, you know, a single pack is, is a very tough to do. This is a 1981 Topps Hockey Pack in the number 20 spot, and we will get into that if we roll a 20. 
Uh, I don't think there are any big rookies in there. I think Yari Curry is probably the most well-known rookie in there. I'm mainly looking for uh, early cards of like Gretzky and some other Hall of Famers in there. Also some later period cards of people like Gila Fleur are in that set too. It's a nice set to kind of get the best of some of the older players and, and some of the newer players all in the same set. So that will be a sweet pack if we can pull that. Of course, always put something interesting in the 17 spot too, because we roll a lot of 17s on this channel. I'm not sure why. Our first, however, is a 16 right there. So we will pick the pack in front of 17. And that is a 1993 Pro Set Power. And this is a jumbo pack of Pro Set Power football cards. This is one that uh, I really don't see very often. I was kind of excited to put that in there. There are a couple of jumbo packs in there and one rack pack in the box this week. This is one of the jumbo packs. So nice to start off with that. That's why the box looked so full. Uh, you can look for all kinds of inserts and, and all kinds of other good stuff. 25 cards in the pack. And uh, these are pretty nice cards. And I hope that you guys, uh, if you have not seen this before, I hope you guys will like this product. Uh, most pro set stuff from the early 90s not so great, but I think this one's pretty nice. They did a better job on these than uh, they did on some of their earlier products. This is, uh, first card here is Gaston Green, or Gaston Green, and that is a power move. I don't know if that's an insert or if that's just a subset card. We'll have to check the number on the back. Uh, it is a power move 11, so that is an insert right there. That's pretty sweet. Gaston Green. Uh, and I honestly do not remember him, so I can't really comment very much about him. There's Coleman Rudolph. That is a power draft pick of Coleman Rudolph there. You can see they're pretty cards. They did a nice job with making the uh, the subject of the card in color and everything else in black and white. I think they're very pretty, and uh, the backs are not particularly exciting, but uh, nonetheless, you got Johnny Johnson there. That's another power moves card, Johnny Johnson with the Jets. Not related to Jimmy Johnson, just in case anybody was curious. And there is Pepper Johnson, who I don't believe is related to Johnny or Jimmy. There's Pepper Johnson, who was uh, definitely a good uh, linebacker for the Browns for many years. Here's a very nice card, all-power defense. And that's a pretty one of Terrell Buckley, who uh, was a pretty good back for a uh, defensive back for the uh, Green Bay Packers for a little while. That's a pretty nice insert there. Nothing wrong with that. And then uh, flip this over. We got Mike... Sherrard there with the Giants, and that is another Power Moves card. Pretty nice. We got Tim Grunhard centering for the Chiefs. Another center right behind him, Bruce Matthews, and that's a good one. Matt Darby and Tim Waddle continue. Our, and then we got another All Power Defense card. That's a sweet one, Junior Seau there. Hall of Famer, and it looks like he's tackling a Broncos player. I'm not sure who that is, but uh, pretty good one there. I'm going to Wolf Lair that one. We got uh, Tim Arnold, a punter for the Lions. Shout out to Julie Searle, who has a thing for punters. What is this? This is a, uh, is this a checklist? This is a very strange card here. I guess it is a checklist telling you the NFC power draft picks that they thought were going to be huge stars. And I'll bring it up a little closer to the uh, screen there so you can see how many of those turned out to be huge stars. You got Jerome Bettis and Irv Smith and Garrison Hurst. So that's that's not too bad. Uh, they, they didn't do too bad there, actually. Got uh, some pretty good ones. That's the most boring card I think I've ever pulled, though. A big N on there. I don't know why they did that. There's Eugene Robinson, good player for the Seahawks. Another Seahawks player, Cortez Kennedy, played for them for quite a while. And we got uh, Michael Jackson for the Browns. Now, was this? There were a couple of Michael Jacksons in the league. There was one who played for the Seahawks and one who played for the Ravens. I think this is the one who played for the Ravens. I have to check that, or maybe you guys will remember which one he is. I'm pretty sure he's the one who played for the Ravens. We got uh, Dennis Gibson there. Man, he looks like a giant next to that referee. Look at that. He just looks like a huge, huge being from some sort of fantastical Tolkien novel. We got uh, Marco Coleman for the Dolphins. Santana Dotson, good player there for the Bucks. Really good player. Power draft pick of Todd Kelly for the 49ers. Don't remember that player at all. Trace Armstrong, good player for the Bears, for sure. We got uh, Steve Wisniewski for the Raiders, and Joe Montana, power moves card. There you go. That is a very nice pull. Happy to get that one. That's awesome. I'll take that. Put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. And Dale Carter is an all-power defense player 
also for the Chiefs. I do not remember Dale Carter. Maybe some of you Kansas City fans will. And then we got Fred Barnett there for the Eagles. I believe we, I, I think we pulled Fred Barnett yesterday. I think he's in that set I just gave away to James. So uh, pretty nice, actually. That was, that was a nice pack. I'm going to leave uh, Dale Carter on top, even though I don't remember him. Maybe I'll, instead I'll put uh, Santana Dotson. He's someone I do remember as being a very good player. Let's roll our next pack. It was one of our two jumbo packs. There's another one in there as well as a rack pack. Maybe we'll hit that next. Let's see what our number is. It is rolling, rolling. It's number 10. How about that? That is sweet. Means we get to open a very big and pricey pack. Looking for a Jerry Rice rookie out of this 1986 football pack. This is a big one. It is probably the last time you'll see me open one of these on the channel because they're just too darn expensive. I can't uh, justify putting them in there, but I thought since it is playoff time, we are in the football postseason, I'd put something big in there and we hit it. So that is pretty darn awesome. Get this carefully out of here, put that over there. So here we go. And as you can see, this is untampered with and sealed up tight. I've had this since 1986. So let's see, we're really looking for that Jerry Rice rookie. That is the big card that we want to pull out of here. Try to open this carefully so as to save the wrapper in case I don't have it. I'll have to check my binder of wrappers from the 70s and 80s and see if this one is in it. I uh, suspect it is, but I'm not sure. So try to be careful getting into here. I ripped it already. There you go. This is uh, definitely well, well waxed, <laughs> as we might say there. All right, so it should be some bubblegum. Oh man, some really nasty looking bubblegum in there. I don't know if that's even that does come off the card. I'm going to retrieve that later. This is some of the worst bubblegum I think I've ever seen on this channel. Check that out. Some brown scunge on that bubblegum. That is uh, it's transferred to the wrapper. It is it is definitely not, not edible bubblegum. That's for sure. I'll put that wrapper over here because I think I want to spend some time on that and uh, do a better job with that. So Gary Anderson really has suffered the worst of that bubble gum. You can see that card is pretty much ruined and uh, really not one that I want to keep around. Let's see if the second card from the bottom suffered the same fate. It did not, and it's Jim Covert, who is an all-pro uh, offensive lineman for the Bears. Really good uh, offensive lineman throughout his career. Really good Bears player. So that card remained unscathed, so that's pretty awesome. like to see that. Let's flip these over and uh, continue through here. Not sure what happened. Oh, I think we got some ink loss on this guy. Bruce Clark. Ink loss on him. At least it is not Jerry Rice, so that's a big plus there. Bruce Clark is also going to go that way. Mike Munchak, good guard for the Oilers. He looks uh, looks like he's very confused about something there. Mike Munchak, he, he was with that team for a long time. Jackie Slater, I think he is a... I think, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I believe Jackie Slater is a Hall of Famer. I... I would not be surprised if he is. I kind of think he deserves to be Jackie Slater. Very good offensive lineman there for the Rams. Bernie Kosar, who uh, many people believe to be the Browns' best all-time quarterback. Um, I'm not sure if I believe that, but that's what a lot of people think. James Griffin and Drew Hill, good wide receiver there for the Oilers. Had some good seasons for them. Eric Dickerson, and that unfortunately, because of the glossy finish, stuck to that other card. Uh, otherwise, that would be a really sweet card to get of one of the great uh, running backs of this era. Very nice Eric Dickerson card there, but uh, marred by the ink loss. Marvin Powell, another good offensive lineman. This pack has been full of good offensive linemen. He was a very good one for the Jets for many years. Marvin Powell. Albert Lewis there looking very suspicious. He doesn't like it. Robbie Martin, who I don't remember even though he was a Colt. Ralph Mojasenko from the Chargers. Another punter, Gary Danielson, who played for a long time. For the Lions, he was a quarterback for them for quite a while, and not too bad. There he is with the Browns. Jim Breach, another kicker. Wes Hopkins, there's another all-pro good safety for the Eagles back in the day. We got James Wilder, another running back. And our last card is Garen Varis from the Patriots, who was another player that, uh, quite honestly, I, I don't remember that well. Garen Varis. Maybe some of you Boston uh, or New England fans will remember him better than me. The Dickerson, I think, would have been the best card we pulled out of that, if not for the ridiculous uh, ink loss there. Too much of that. Unfortunately, we did not get the Jerry Rice, which I suppose I shouldn't be surprised at. As I said, these uh, sets go up pretty high in number. Hard to pull a specific card from them. Uh, 
but I think I'm going to put Jackie Slater on the front. I mean, why not? I, I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me in the comments if my belief is correct or not. Two football packs start us off on today's rip. Let's see if we can get a hockey pack here in our third roll. It is pack number four. Pack number four is what we rolled. So that's three and here's four. And it is indeed a hockey pack. Very sweet. 1990 Tops hockey pack. Pretty nice to see that. Hockey season and football season still going on, which is why we have these two sports in the box today. Open that one up. That one opens up a lot easier than that uh, last pack. Though the gum in here only looks marginally better. There are no brown stains on this gum, but still not, uh, not gum that I would like to eat. That's for sure. All right, so we'll flip this over like that, and we start off. Man, that is sweet. Start off with Patrick Raw, just like that. Canadiens, great goalie for them for many years. That's a nice card. I don't think that's a rookie, but that is, uh, I think, pretty... No, it's not even that early in his career, but that's a nice one. Put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. That's in beautiful shape. Fresh from the pack. Thomas Steen, good center there for the Jets. And Jeff Reese, top prospect card from the Leafs. Paul Coffey, that's a sweet one too. Former Oiler, there he is with the Penguins. Very nice to see that. Kirk Muller and Doug Smale. Doug Smale was in the NHL for a long time, I believe. He worked worked uh, the left wing position for several teams. Scott Mellenby, who has a very suspicious... Oh, he must have been uh, the one who was up against the gum, because I flipped this around. Yeah, that card is... Uh, that card is uh, going to go over there with those other special cards. Ron Francis is our scoring leader... Uh, glossy insert card. You got one of these in every pack of 1990 Tops Hockey, and ours is Ron Francis, good player, and I believe a Hall of Famer as well. We got uh, Gary Nyland there with uh, the Islanders. Don't know why these keep going out of focus. Sorry about that. There we have him, and Rob Stauber, another top prospect goalie. We've gotten a couple of those out of this pack. Garth Butcher, no relation to Brooks. Jari Curry, there he is, Jari Curry. Not... Uh, He's got some sort of uh, goiter on his face there. I'm not quite sure what happened to Yari Curry. Maybe he had that surgically removed at a later time, or maybe it's some sort of printing defect on the card. I can't tell. You guys will have to figure that out for yourselves, but that's a pretty good one. I'll keep that. Glenn Anderson, another great oiler, and another right wing. That's a pretty nice card, too. Here we have a sideways card featuring the New York Islanders. I don't recognize any of those players, but uh, they are wearing Islanders uniforms, so ostensibly they played for them. Neil Sheehy finishes this pack off in capital style. See what I did there? All right, I think I'm going to put Glenn Anderson on top just because uh, I used to watch the Oilers a lot and I remember him fondly. Let's go to our fourth and final pack of the episode and see if we can get another hockey pack to balance things out. We've gotten one hockey, two football. If you're enjoying the episode, I hope that you will take just a moment to hit the like button and uh, helps the channel a lot. I certainly appreciate it. 15 is our final roll, so we will count that from... Uh, well, we didn't have 10, so I know that's 11. 12, 13, 14, and 15 is a football pack. It is Top Stadium Club 1995, and this isn't just the NFL. No. This is the extreme NFL. That's right, you get 13... Extreme NFL Super Premium Football Cards. I think they need more adjectives. I don't think Topps has used quite enough adjectives. This is Series 2, and you can get all kinds of great stuff in here, including MVP Laser Cut, Power Surge, Power Matrix, Ground Attack, Dual Etched Foil, and the Hobby Exclusive. This is a Hobby Pack. It says so right there, and I believe what I read on these. It says the Hobby Exclusive is Nightmares Etched Foil featuring... Vampirella. What? Are you joking? This is... Whew. That, that is... I did not know about that, man. Nine, the 1990s were a strange time. There's lots of other uh, inserts you can get out of here, and, and maybe we'll get one. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Mid-90s pack, 1995, and we could... Hold on to your seats. We could pull a Vampirella card from here. Uh, if I do, I will give it away. I'll tell you that, because... Uh, She's really uh, not a character that I was ever very fond of, but I know she has a huge fan following, so some of you might be pretty jazzed to get a Vampirella card. So if I pull one, I'll be happy to give that a new home with a true vampy fan. I, th I think 
fans of her called her vampy. Is that right? I could be wrong. But in any event, we got Kenyon Rashid starting things off. These are really pretty cards. I was delighted to find I had a pack of these and immediately put it in the box earlier today. Uh, that's the front. You can see full bleed stuff, kind of a foily situation going on there. The backs are nice too because they have a different picture. I always like that a lot. They have these random people at the bottom. I have no idea how they got their way onto a football card, but there they are. Uh, so that's what the cards look like. They're quite pretty. There's Steve Tovar from the Bengals. And we did get one of the laser cards. That is awesome. That is so awesome. And it's a Dan Marino. All right, check this out. These are such cool cards. You can see the uh, laser cut back there. These cards are very, very hard to grade. They're very easily damaged, as I'm sure you can imagine. That is easily the best pull of the day. That's a huge, awesome pull. I'm delighted about that. You can see the back there. That is a really, really sweet card. I'm pumped about that, guys. That is, that is a really cool card. I'm just going to set that up, leaning gently against the dorking box there. That is a great pull. Really pumped about that. Uh, and then the rest of these are backwards and forwards and all over. Jerry Rice! There's a Jerry Rice. I, well, I would have liked a Jerry Rice card out of the 86 pack. I'm still quite happy to get one out of this pack. That's definitely a Wolf Lair card for me. Happy to get that. It's a good pack. We got Jesse Tuggle there, middle linebacker for the Falcons. And then uh, I think this is uh, another insert or parallel or something. This is the Jags inaugural season. And... Uh, I don't know what this kind of weird stuff is going on here, but uh, it makes it very difficult to read Keith Goganius's name. Well, I don't remember that dude at all, but uh, I don't know. This is some sort of parallel, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but in any event, it's not a guy I've ever heard of, so I can only get too excited about it. There's Kenyon Rashid again? What is happening? I mean, I can't complain because I pulled a pretty sweet... Marino laser cut card. That's uh, pretty awesome, but I don't need two Kenyan Rashids. That's pretty weird. All right, so we got some other some other cool stuff coming up here. I, I have to say this is a pretty loaded pack. There's all kinds of cool inserts and things like that in here. Here's Michael Bates, wide receiver for the Seahawks, and we'll flip that over. I, I think that is a parallel too. That's got some, or maybe that's just the normal colors for the Seahawks. I don't know. That looks different than the other cards. Maybe it's not a parallel. This is a ground attack parallel and these are sweet these remind me of the metal universe cards that i've opened on this channel before this is chris warren the running back for the seahawks i'm trying to bend it so you can get the real look at the all the foily goodness that's going on on this card very sweet sweet looking card there and that's the back also has foil on it very very nice cards i, I do like that a lot and that's not Note that is not Chris Warren on the back. It is Rick Murr, the uh, QB for the Seahawks. So it's like a double-sided card in a way. Very cool. Not a Seahawks fan, so it's kind of lost on me, but still a really cool card to pull. Chris Carter, the excellent wide receiver for the Vikings. Nice to see that. And Jerome Bettis, that is an early Bettis card, because there he is with the Rams. I don't know if that's a rookie or not. It is not marked as such. I don't think it is. I think it's a second-year card of uh, the bus, but still a very cool card. To pull that one. And then uh, these last two were backwards, so we'll switch them around and get Russell Maryland, who uh, did not ever play for the Ravens, as far as I know. He played for Dallas. And uh, then Daryl Williams, the uh, safety for the Bengals. That, that was a really great pack to end on, not just because I pulled that awesome Marino card, because these are really beautiful cards. I'm going to have to... I wish I had more of these. I think this is the only one of these packs I had. I'm going to have to really dig deep into the... Uh, to the card closet and see if I can find another one of these because that was a lot of fun to open. I had a really good time with that. Hope you guys did too. And thank you once again for coming out to the channel today. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend watching some of those uh, football playoff games. The AFC games are going to be nuts. Those look awesome. The NFC games looks like they will maybe be blowouts, but they'll still be fun to watch. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Probably not during the weekend. I probably won't be able to start watching those until Monday, but... Nonetheless, it will be a lot of fun for me to see those. Hope you guys have a really great relaxing weekend. And